What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope uh, you guys all had a, a Merry Christmas and a safe and Happy New Year. Uh, I know I did. Uh, we're out here again for another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, turn on the bell notifications, and follow us on Instagram, the little link that you see down below. Um, this video, uh, I'm actually doing the intro after the video because I honestly didn't expect to be hunting. Uh, in this video, I just brought the camera gear and stuff with me. I was doing some scouting, saw a bunch of birds at a new spot, so I figured I'd give it a try. Um, there, there was uh, quite a few birds uh, in the location, but um, I really couldn't get them to work uh, uh, to the point where I wanted to take a shot. Towards the end of the video, I did get a shot opportunity, but um, you guys will see in the video. Um, stay, so stay tuned for that. Uh, like I said, um, we got I got a, a trip planned uh, in the next couple weeks to New Mexico, so we do some geese and some uh, duck hunting out there. So stay tuned for that. Uh, like I said, hope you guys like the video, and I'll uh, see you guys at the end. ducks that were coming in and uh a car um came driving up behind me and uh kind of spooked them up um they were coming in on the beeline i don't know if you guys saw that on the video or not but they came straight down the center and then the truck was coming in so this place is busy um that's for sure hopefully we can get a couple birds we've had a a couple looks, uh, one duck circled, I might try not calling when they come back and see what happens, but we'll see. Uh, it looks promising. Hopefully we can get a bird. It'd be nice. Um, stay tuned. We'll see what happens.
at before this is where all the birds were landing we get about 53 minutes until sunset so <sighs> hopefully we'll see what happens stay tuned
Alright everybody, so hope you guys liked the video. Um like I said there was there was a lot of birds working. Um they just weren't uh interested in what I was offering. Um a lot of them were landing on the opposite direction of where I was at, uh stationed in, in initially in the beginning. And then of course uh it's apparently this place is a, a pretty popular spot because uh, I had at least two vehicles uh, drive up in the area while I was there. One of them kind of spooked some birds. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but the birds were coming in that, that uh, path of water. They were coming straight for my direction, and then as soon as the truck came into view, they kind of just uh, scooted up into the air and didn't come back. But um, I want to say, uh, I believe, uh, uh, it looked like at one point a pintail drake and a hen landed in the middle of that pool too, but I didn't have a shot opportunity. Um, but I think in the future, I know kind of where I want to set up uh, in that in that area, so we'll see what happens for the future. Um and I did notice there were a couple times that um, when I set up on the other side, I didn't have a whole lot of motion. And I think that was really what the issue was. I didn't have a, my jerk string or uh, the, the pulsators put out there. So I think that really the lack of motion and ripples in the water really kind of did me in there. And then uh, the dog and I weren't really uh, hid there at the end either. So I think cover and not having enough motion there is kind of, was kind of the the issue at the end after we changed spots but um i'm new this is on my third year so everything everything that i do all the scene the bird reactions this is all new to me i'm all learning it on the fly uh i don't have that hunting mentor that a whole lot of people that you know that are out there doing this have so like i said i'm doing all all, all my all my own watching youtube videos watching all the top guys out there like freelance duck hunting and you know uh outdoor limits and i'm watching all those mid valley mercenaries watching all those guys seeing what they're doing uh trying to get the birds to work in closer so i'm not taking those beyond shots like like you saw at the end I, I, that was kind of just a hail mary and i think i, I didn't have correct fundamentals with that last one because looking at the shot cam I, was, I looked it seemed as though the pattern was a little high so um in the future you know the the goal is to to get the birds to work more so that I get a better shot opportunity so that you know they're in closer and we have a better chance to kill some birds but yeah like I said it's every everything that I do every time I go out there it's a learning opportunity for me so I, I can learn at what how how to do things properly but if you guys have any suggestions make sure you leave those down below in the in the in the comments let me know what you think uh, I'm doing what I, what I can do better constructive criticism always goes a long way but if you guys are interested in a pair of the fowler hell's half acre waders use code gregor outdoors you can get 10 percent off your purchase i'll link that down below in the description and then uh we actually use the lifetime decoys i don't know if i went over that uh bought some lifetime decoys they they look incredible um but uh, that was really the first time I've been able to use them in a hunt, but hope you guys liked the video If you haven't already make sure that like and subscribe button do us a favor uh, the goal for the new year is uh, more, more hunting more content for you guys uh, uh, Got a lot of stuff planned, so we'll see we'll see what happens. Hopefully everything works out But I hope you guys like the video and until next time see you